Welcome, welcome to the new Teacher's Dream Planner. So this year I have created it on Trello. So I started using Trello last year during the school year because I was getting really um, tired of the OneNote thing. I was selling OneNote planners to everybody. Everybody enjoyed it because it was a digital form. But OneNote is really, really challenging to download and... It just became really encumbersome using OneNote through the district applications with other teachers. So I have switched. I switched halfway through the school year to Trello. And I have to say, I am loving, loving, loving Trello. So here is the Trello template for the planner. There's lots of moving parts to it. So I'm going to walk you through how you can set up your own personal um, teacher's dream planner with this template. So let's get started with the very first thing right here. And it's going to be start here. When you click on this, I want you to download and print this blank uh, calendar. This is just going to help you guide you through for the dates. You can put the, the dates on for your start of school year and all that. This is just a scratch note thing for you to be able to set up your Trello planner. The great thing about this Trello planner, you never have to buy another planner again because you're just going to be changing out the dates every single year. So make a copy of this and print it. Fill in your dates. Go to your um, go to your district website and get all of the school holidays and all of that. So once you've done that, I think you're gonna go over to your week one. So what is your first week of school? And you're going to change it right here and you're going to put the date right here. Then you're going to go all the way through all of those and you're going to mark out all the dates at the top for each week that you are in session with kids. Then once you have all of that done, you can come over here to um, the dates and you can click in here. And let's say you know when your first day of school is. You're going to go to label and you're going to put first day of school. So the first day of school is going to be right here. And you're going to be able to put that here. You can attach a date to it by going here to date. So you know the first day of school is for us. It's the 10th. I'll just put the 8th here, August 8th. And that puts it onto your calendar. Then you can also change out here on your week for you to go all the way across here. You can already start planning out your themes. So let me hop over where you can see my planner that I'm already started for the new school year because I like to plan in advance. So if I come here, whoop, I guess I should have cleared out all of my boards because I'm still working on stuff. Sorry about that. So let me go to the beginning of the school year. So here, as you can see at the top of my boards, I have my dates like I talked about. Then here I have my first day of school. Then here I'm doing my theme. What am I going to be teaching this first week of school? Well, I'm going to be teaching procedures because we all know as preschool teachers that procedures are the most important thing. So then I've gone through my whole year. I have a district curriculum that I follow um, that's based off of themes. So they, I, I know unit one, week one, we're doing who we are. Um, I do devi uh, deviate a little bit from our district curriculum because I don't want to do who we are for a whole entire month. I feel kids start getting a little bit tired of it. I can do it in my science section, but I'm not going to do a full month of who we are. So then I'm gone to apples. 
And so if you go across the top of all mine, I already have. And then here I have everything that we're going to be working on. So let's go back to your blank template so you can see how you can do that. So here on week one, I might be wanting to do another label and I want to be doing names because we want to get to know all of our children's names. So um, you can come here and you can create your own labels. I already have a whole bunch of them already in for you so that you can see all the labels. Like if you want to show more labels, I have all of these already created for you to implement into your um, lesson plan right from the beginning. And then here you can see all of them. So I do, we do letters for us, but I don't want to start with letters. I mean, that's no fun. So if I go here and I want to do names, learning our names, I can click on this. I can go to create a new lab label. I'm going to put it in pink because all of my language and literacy is in pink. And I can go here to names, learning names. Let's just put learning names. Create. I could also put here, so now when I click off of this, I can go, oh, I'm going to be doing procedures, my first day of school, we're learning names here. Then as you go across to your dates, I want to say for us, let me go back to my calendar, you can pop up a calendar. So here, once you mark out everything you're doing, so like here's August, who we are, um, dates to remember, I'm going to have a barber uh, shop person come in for who we are. Um, so as you go through then there's no school but if I click up here to my calendar now that I have everything marked up here at the top I can go to my calendar and I can look to see everything that's planned for this whole week so this week I know I'm doing first day of school welcome names um, we're doing listening and names here. We're going to be focusing attention. We're going to learn about circles. We're going to sing the ABC song. I'm doing our district curriculum. So I'm on unit one, week one here. I want to bring in a barber shop or hairstylist into the classroom um, so that they can see and hear about everything that they do. And as I scroll through my calendar, I already have everything marked out. I already have dates to remember there's no school. Here's uh, our fall break. Our DRDPs are due in October. So everything is here for me on my calendar because I have put all my dates here and everything across here of what's planned, I have marked out on here. Then when you go to do your lesson plans, you're looking at here. So when I do my morning journal, what could I do for my morning journal? I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You can write that in. If you do morning journal, if not, and you don't want this on your lesson, you can just simply click this little arrow and you can go to archive and it will remove it from your plans. Any of these things can be removed. Or if you want to add something to it, you have all this morning journals, tabletops, social skills, learning centers, group meeting, group meeting, ABC time, math time, story time, small groups. So you can add all of these to here wherever you see fit or you can keep the ones that are here or you can eliminate. So this is basically what I schedule for myself each um, week and I do a group meeting and I do my ABC and math time because my big greeting circle is here. So when I'm welcoming my kids, it's here. So if I click on my social skills, I have my plans for this whole week. Then here for this on group on my ABC time, I'm only doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm doing ABCs. And on the other days, I'm doing Tuesday, Friday, I'm doing math. So that is there in your sections as well. But like I said, you can eliminate anything that you do not want in your plans. The great thing about this is once you plan it, and you have this, you never have to purchase another uh, lesson plan template again. You're going to be able to just go over here and you're going to be able to copy your board. So if you go here to more, 
um, once you've converted this to your to your own Trello board, you can then copy this board and never have to do it again. Then you're able just to tweak your lesson plans from here. So what some of the things that I put on my lesson plan to help keep me organized, I have my weekly to-do list. So if you click here on my weekly to-do list, I can add things that we need to do that we need to make and prep. But my daily things that I want done from my my staff members that come in and help or volunteers or parent helpers or whoever these are things that they can do for me on a daily basis check my pencils make sure they're sharpened there's nothing worse than knowing that you don't have sharpened pencils so I have my daily checklist that they can use to see what needs to be done and my weekly checklist so you can add checklists to your um, lesson plans <clears throat> If you click here and I go to my morning um, journals, I can click on this is basically how I have my morning journal set up. Every Monday we're doing a draw picture based on theme of the week and I'll change this out for whatever we're doing on that day so people know what to prep. On Tuesdays we're doing a letter collage color collage rainbow something in regards to the letter we're learning on Wednesday. Um, Wednesday is letter, color. This is just like, you know, stickers, numbers, whatever. This is going to be fine motor. Then on Wednesday, we're going to stick to whatever the letter is that we're working on. On Thursday, we're doing uh, numbers and shapes. On Fridays, we're just doing fun color sheets or uh, direction, not directional drawings, but where they kind of fill in where it kind of gives you a drawing prompt. So that's how I have that set up. Then if you go to my social skills, you can see that here I can go to Pete the Cat Washes Hands because we're learning how to wash hands. Um, here it is right here. I can play it from here if I want. So I can add all different things into my lesson plan. If I click on my ABC circle time, I haven't planned any of that stuff yet, but it would be there and then here you have shared ideas so I have all my activities that I'm thinking of doing that I can then just drag up and put oh is this going to be a small group activity are we going to do this during learning centers so then I can drag and drop this information wherever I want to have it within my lesson so each of these things is a card you can move the cards from any list that you want or you can even move your lessons. So what I did this year is as I was finished with this week, I would pull it to the back of my lesson plan. That way I'm not looking at it and everything in my lesson plans is current to the date and I'm looking for looking to the next week versus having all these backed up. So as a week finishes, I can drag this to the back of my lesson plans. So I hope that's kind of just a quick walkthrough of how you can do things. And please stay tuned during um, the school year and I will walk you through more things on how to do it. So let's say you're over here on yours and here is your checklist. Here's your checklist right here. If you go here, you can just add your items to your checklist. You can add multiple checklists. like So like right here, you can give it a name and then you can add all your items. If you want another checklist, because like I have a daily checklist and a weekly checklist, you just go to checklist and you can make another checklist. When you're labeling your weeks, like if you're wanting to prep things and you go, oh, I want to also uh, start counting um nope let's look let's say number one i'm going to learn about the number one here but you might also want to add here that you're going to count learn how to count go here and you're going to go count count one two five because we're learning just how to count in order and you can add that so here when you click off of this you can see okay well my first week I'm going to be doing this first. I'm going to be counting one through five numbers, learning our names, and you can have procedures or anything that you want here so that when you pull it up on your calendar, I like to mark on my calendar. So like when I click on this card, like we did, I would go to calendar and then I would go to August 8th and I'd hit save. And that way, when I pull up my calendar, it's on my calendar. So each week I 
I put a date to it so that it shows on my calendar. So it's blinking because this is a template and I don't, I'm not supposed to be changing the template. So when you get your board, all you have to do is create a board, name it and put it wherever you want to put it and hit create and it will go into your Trello boards. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me and I'm more than glad to answer any questions that you might have to make your teacher life more simple and a fun filled year of planning with less stress until next time.